All right, the motto at San Diego State Aztec for life, and nowhere is that more evident than with a group of former football players who make it a point to reunite not just once a year, but once a month. This group of guys meet once a month around San Diego for lunch and to have a good time, but it's more than just good food that brings them together. It's a common bond. You see, all of them played football for the Aztecs back in the 1960s, so it's a little time to get together and reminisce. People don't care about what kind of work you do, who you know. They're just happy to get together with the Aztec spirit, and the binding is terrific. Well, we started this, uh, oh, I don't know, a couple of years ago, because any time we get together, there was always a guy in a box with candles around him. So we decided, hey, this is no good. Let's kind of meet once a month or so and just kind of reminisce. Now, not everyone who attends these luncheons were stars on the team. In fact, some didn't play much at all. But that doesn't stop them from having that one fond memory of playing for the red and black. My fondest memory as an Aztec was probably the night that uh, in 1964 when I uh, made the most yards, gained the most yards ever in a single game. I think North Dakota State when we played for the national championship, when uh, we played at Balboa Stadium, when you came out to 36,000 people at that time when we're used to being with uh, San Diego State in their uh, 10,000 you know, uh, people. Uh, it's just incredible. But maybe the fondest memory didn't have anything to do with a game or even a touchdown. Rather, one man. You see, these guys had the chance to play for the legend Don Coriel. This is about 90% of coaching, I would think, oh, I feeling think so. toward the kids. Huh? Well, if you like the kids and if they like football, I think that's two real important things. Coriel affected all of us in a positive way, uh, a way and we loved him. And John Madden and Joe Gibbs were there, so we had the good fortune of playing for three of the greatest coaches to ever coach the game. If I learn one thing about Don Coriel from Don Coriel, it was to surround yourself with winners. We all know that he was a good example of that. Look at who his assistant coaches were. But I got a college education, got to get an education and be a teacher, and you know, Don was a big part of that. Sitting around, having a good time. It's been 50 years since these guys put on a football uniform, but still they show their support for Aztecs football. But I think they need some uh, more receivers uh, to open up the attack. And uh, my suggestion to Coach Long, and uh, all due respect, he's coaching, and I'm not coaching, so I have the utmost respect, is to go out to the JC system and recruit about 16 guys that can fill your needs real quick. We're Aztec fans to the core, so uh, they can do no wrong from us. Uh, how good was Don Coriel at San Diego State? 104 night team while leading the Aztecs. That's it for Sports Extra. Don't forget game seven of the NLCS tomorrow. Winner gets the Tigers. Good night.